Fans of that 70s show probably noticed the show's plot start to unravel in the second half of the series. For example, some may have noticed the years on the license plates become inconsistent around season 4. The first three seasons display a new year starting in 1977. After the fourth season, the years all stayed the same, suggesting four seasons passing in a single year compared to the previous four seasons in four years. Perhaps the writers made the mistake of starting a sitcom based in the 70s a little too late in the decade and were forced to remain in a single year for continuity reasons. However, superfans may remember there being a Christmas episode every season, yet all of those Christmases would have had to occur in a single year. Once fans started to think about some of the plot holes in the later seasons, they may have wondered if everything they saw on the show was true or if something else was going on that fans weren't aware of. Some fans have taken this to the next level, proposing a theory that might make a little too much sense. Let's check out the Eric theory that changes everything on that 70s show. In Season 4, Episode 15, Tornado Prom, Eric Foreman goes to prom with his group of stoner friends, but he forgets to bring his girlfriend Donna, who is stuck at the radio station where she works. This is a classic Foreman blunder that we've come to expect from Eric. Being the lovable character he is, he decides to rescue his stranded lady. While doing so, a tornado is seen behind Eric's car, but he doesn't notice it. The episode goes on as usual, and the two are reunited. They make it to prom and everything seems great, at least on the surface. Some fans, especially at Entertainment Weekly, took a deeper look at that episode and came up with a fan theory that would change everything about the show. If you remember, while the prom is going on, the parents of Eric and Donna are watching the news regarding the tornado when they hear, This just in, the National Weather Service has canceled the tornado warning. And updating our top story, a local teen is in critical condition. You need a good ear to hear it, but the theory goes that Eric Foreman never actually made it to Donna. Instead, the tornado caught up to Eric, who is the local teen in critical condition. As a result, Eric falls into a coma. This would explain many of the inconsistencies throughout the second half of the show. Let's say this was true. How would this have affected the rest of the show? The theory is that since Eric is in a coma and not dead, the show continues based on his memory and how he believes certain situations would unfold. For example, a few seasons later, Eric decides to move to Africa to become a teacher. This is a little out of character for Eric, but it also could mean that Eric was falling deeper into his coma. This could be something Eric always wanted to do but couldn't because he'd always been stuck in Wisconsin. Following that, Eric is replaced by new character Randy who could be seen as Eric's imagined version of his older self. It could also mean he is falling even deeper into his coma and losing perspective on what is plausible. This idea is bolstered even further when Fez marries Jackie and Lori on two separate occasions. Another example of fuzzy logic in later episodes is when Eric's mom, Kitty, begins to record everything that Eric is missing. This is potentially a way for Eric to stay connected with what's going on at home while he is in the coma. None of this makes sense in the surface-level plot, but Eric doesn't know that because he is drifting further and further away from reality. In the series finale, everyone is waiting for Eric to return from Africa on New Year's Eve. He does so in the last few minutes of the show, and a warm-hearted reunion at a familiar spot concludes the series. I wish there was just some way to take the edge off. <coughs> edge, you are officially off. Of course, fans weren't satisfied with this and had to work this event into their theory. Let's assume Eric was supposed to make a recovery on December 31st, 1979, when the show was supposed to end. The theory suggests that Eric doesn't make it back home, that he is still in a coma, and that this is his last goodbye to everyone. His memory allows for one last time to remember all of his friends and family back home. Then, when the series ends, that is when Eric allegedly dies. It's a dark theory, but when you think about it, it could make sense in the end. It's undeniable that there are several plot holes in the later seasons, and maybe this could be explained by something like the main character being struck by a tornado and falling into a coma for a year. Or maybe the writers just lost the plot. Perhaps we'll never know. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.